from Williams Pinball. Let's stop. Congo. You know, they only made 2,129 of these. Now, of that amount, 130 were conversion kits. Wow. <laughs> 130 were conversion kits. You actually got a play field and you were able to convert your Dirty Harry or your, your Flintstones to a Congo. Congo is based on the movie, of course, by the same name. And uh, not a lot of people saw it, but we've done some stuff to this that hasn't been done before. As a matter of fact, we'll go to it where we were working on the play field. Let's uh, slip away to that. Look at this Congo. He's leaving his sit overnight. We've coated the play field here with cleaner. So tell me, Jason, how dirty was this Congo? As dirty as you are. <laughs> it's raining now. Shouldn't you go get your bar of soap? <sighs> That's insubordination, young man. Spell it. <laughs> well, the LEDs are done. He's now taking this section out. There's still a lot of reheating to do. But this is coming along, but you can see how dirty they get on the inside before they're actually finished off. The final touches, so to say. And you got some neat uh, mods on this, don't you? There's six new lights on here. Good. Oh, very big difference, too. And you know what else we did? We added the ape's eyes. We've decided we're going to put LEDs in our Congo ape. So we're working on that now. Our ape now has his eyes, and we're gonna hot glue them in now as soon as it's uh, heated up. Pretty neat, huh? That's uh, all done. Uh, that was a last minute idea that we thought would look really sharp. Uh, this machine also has the new weldman made back here. It's a part that's retrofitted into the machine that uh, keeps the plastic safe, the, um, the uh, volcano here. So that's something you can also order online. And of course, we've done our usual things. These are the uh, Lexan washers that are clear. They'll never break. And consequently, the plastics they're protecting will never break. The game is in absolutely terrific condition now. As you saw earlier, it wasn't when we started. It was quite dirty. And look, all the targets have these new padded stickers added that this one company is making now. I have the link there you can see on the screen. And you can order those too. I think they look really nice. This has this neat thing below the play field. Here's an interesting story. I had one of these and the, the Gorilla weld broke, so I ordered a new one. Back that, that's when you could actually still purchase the stuff new. You know, I haven't, wait, 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 what's that smell? What's that smell? Wait a minute, what's that smell? Stop eating my sesame cake. Talking to me? Stop! Eating my sesame cake. Good. I couldn't resist. See, now you got to see the movie. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to this. All right. Let's see what it looks like without the lights. Look at this. These are the really super bright LEDs that you see. That is why the play field and back glass are glowing. Isn't this absolutely stunning? Beautiful. Jason has merged a whole bunch of neat things. Like under here, we have high output blue. We have high output green. He's color coded everything to this. Field below it is lit with orange. And of course, we got all high output red back here. He's also put a lamp here and pointed it down so it lights the hole. See, this is one of those, what he calls bendies. <laughs> you have to develop some, uh, some different lingo when you shop your own games. The ramps are crystal clear. 
gosh, this customer's going to be so happy. This game has developed quite a cult following, too. Uh, when the Paramount movie came out, uh, it was a semi-hit. It wasn't the biggest hit as we thought it would be. Well, before I show you the film, there is something interesting to see. Come on up front. Hanging up on my wall. <sighs> Framed years ago. Look at that. Put that up on the wall years ago. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Okay, let's cut right to the game. All right. Before we play a game, let me show you the back. My only problem with the newer Williams WPC 95s is this wretched arrangement with the back class. I just thought this was really big backwards step. Just, I just thought this was awful. I, and I think that was the, the biggest complaint. And a sip of coffee before we continue. Ah, we went to see Pompeii down at the Franklin Institute. I always buy a mug wherever I go. Anyway, back to our system. This slips out like this. There we go. Now, oh, we put a brand new dot matrix display for our customer, so I think you'll be quite pleased. Slide this out like that, good. Logic board, you notice it's a lot bigger than the WPC, the normal board and the battery is up top. It's a perfect place for the three batteries to drip all over the board. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> anyway, that won't happen again, not with the lithium battery. And look, our switch chip, it's in a socket. So our customer will be able to change it should he uh, decide to make an adjustment with power on. And who does that, Frank? Who makes adjustments with them? Did you just zoom in on me? <laughs> uh, anyway, there's the logic, or the driver board. The driver board is certainly so much more efficient. And look, do you know what? These take the places of those big square bridge rectifiers that used to be on the board. Isn't that clever? Because a bridge rectifier is, in fact, four diodes inside. See? So four of these make up one bridge. So two, four, six, eight. There used to be four bridges, now there's uh, uh, 16 diodes. And they never go bad. I don't think we've ever changed one. But of course, there's not many games that use this system. My biggest complaint, other than that horrible back glass thing, are these crapo fuses. I hate these little ass fuses. You can't see anything in them. They're a little ass, they're hard to handle, and I don't like them at all. So they're the only complaints about the WPC. It's a very efficient board system. This is the what they call the um, audio video board up top. And it's actually just the sound. And I guess they have these spaces in case they decided to expand. But as you, all of you know, they went into Pinball 2000. I think there's only, what, Frank, eight or nine games that use this system. I'm not sure. It wasn't many at all. It wasn't many at all. Anyway, let's get this back together, Frank. And we'll do some gameplay. Now, we'll turn the light off, like so. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway, uh, this has a very complicated set of rules. And I think that's why it's become so popular. Your first shot's your skill shot. See it scanning? So, depending on how good you are, which is me. Okay, look how good I am. Not. You only have a few seconds to do it. Now, you're trying to collect all the diamonds. You see these super bright diamonds flashing, courtesy of our, our um, nice bright um, uh, LEDs that fire the ball up here and down. There's one. There's another one. You want to collect all of the diamonds. There's one in that hole. Another diamond. Collect one more, it says. And now my lock is lit. And I <laughs> I didn't catch that in time, did I, Frank? Anyway. So, good news is... Oh. 
Did he say I suck? Hmm. Alright, now. Uh, oh, every time you go around the gray loop, it fires our, our gray leaf in the center. Can you see that? When you completely do it four times, look what happens. And we have one more letter. It goes down into here. And you use your flipper buttons to try to spell Conto, which I did. And the gray gorilla is defeated. And I get 20 wonderful diamonds. And here comes the, the, uh, the uh, ball. And I missed the shot because that's how great I am. That's how great I am. Oh, God, Frank. I can't play. Anyway, let, let's go up around the volcano. See that nice effect with that vibrating nice and bright. Now we'll go into the mine shaft here. Now look. Choose wisely. They seem to have borrowed that from uh, Indiana Jones, didn't they? How about that one? Let's see. Are the diamonds there? Yes, they are. I get five diamonds, Frank. Obviously, you need to see the movie at least more than once to understand what's going on. Because... Of course, you can, oh, I got my ball back. The auto, what they call the auto fire shot. Of course, if you drop down here, you score a hip out, which is me. <laughs> Do I qualify as a hippo? <laughs> Did Jason come back? Hey, Jays. I was going to have him point out. I don't remember the lights he added. He added more lights. All right, let's see. How about if we choose this one? Did we get it right, Frank? Here we go. All right, let's try again. Here we go. We shall all be rich. Okay, let's try here. I'm doing good so far. No. Nope. That's what I didn't want. Well, I did pick up some nice points for that. Anyway. There are, I'm sure, a lot of different rules, rule books and charts you can look at to see what's going on. I don't think we did a lot yet, did we, Frank? Look at that. That ball just rocked around. I hear, from what I look on the site, the different um, listings for this, a lot of collectors that have purchased this game now consider it one of their favorite games. Once again, it's one of those hidden diamonds in the rough. <laughs> Literally, diamond in the rough. There is a diverter right here, too, that can divert your ball down this side, right underneath there, right underneath the palm tree. So all these ramps, what a beautiful game. And I love the way the ape is designed with it. Nope, not going to let me play my Isn't that nice? Yeah. You guys can figure all these rules out, I'm sure, once you get your own game. you got to find one of these in one of the shows so you can actually see and play it. It sure is nice. Now, we need to find Jason to see if he can point out what he added. Let's see where that is. Where is that boy, Jason? Nothing. I'm not even getting a hum or a hint. Boy. Jason, you're hurt. Still no cart. The cart's out doing service. You know where Jason is? Gone. Jason, there you are. What do you have? $100 for the gas. Good. And it only took 80 so... Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Fine. Here, come on out, and I want you to show the boys the lights you added. I'm charging you for my lightness. The light, the lights you added. Not listening to me when I call. I no, find him in the I'm office with hiding. money. This is not a good thing. I don't like this. Come. This is See, I had to squeeze that in. I had to squeeze it in. Jason, yeah. I couldn't remember where you added the lights. Back in the volcano, I added six of them. They're all of the twisties, so they're a flat mount, so I didn't have to run any new, you know, any uh, holes or anything, which was perfect. Flat mounted three of them here, 
There's one on the back wall here, there's one on the back wall here, and then there's an extra one under here to light this ramp up. Ah, so good. that way it made, you know, makes it look red. The it lava. does. It looks very nice. Good. I thank you, Jason. And what do you think of our LED face, our gorilla? Oh, I think it's kind of creepy. We were going to do green. You could do green LEDs, but we didn't have any green. So I said, let's put the red in for now. Well, the red looks better because, you know, you got green everywhere else. At least the red makes it stand out a little bit more. Yeah. You know what? When you do your gorilla update, you can do that. Or you can put blue. Blue. That's an interesting idea, blue. Yeah, that might work. Good. Thank you, Jason. And what is your next project going to be, young man? Uh, I'm sure some toilet you got in mind. But these are not toilets. These are priceless. Beautiful. After we're finished, they are. Ah, after we're done. Before yes. they're toilets. Yes, you folks saw what we were working on. He doesn't remember that. We filmed that days ago. So he doesn't remember. Actually, your next toilet is that demo man. Yes, another demo man. Oh, another demo man. He loves demo man. The guy wants the same mods, Jason, or else. Good night. Yeah! Oh, my God.